we have one cubic equation known that is x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 is equal to 6 we have to find the value of x solution of this equation or root of the equation or solve for the x so let us begin by taking product of these two brackets so let me write x minus 1 as it is second this product term will come out x square minus 5x minus 2 times minus 3 plus 6 that is equal to 6 take this product again so that equation will convert into x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 12 same way you can find out this equation also and this is very important equation for our solution now i have to consider two brackets so that means one factor if we are capable of finding so let me find out one factor first i am going to put x equal to 0 1 2 3 and 4 let me see which is true so let me put 0 0 minus 0 plus 0 minus 12 so not equal to 0 as you can see 1 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 12 again it is not equal to because value is minus 6 2 8 minus 24 plus 22 minus 12 not equal to 0 you can see 30 minus 36 3 so 27 minus 54 plus 33 minus 12 so 60 minus 66 minus 6 is left not equal to 0 4 4 cube is 64 minus square is 16 6 96 plus 44 minus 12 64 plus 44 108 96 again 108 so that is equal to 0 that means x is equal to 4 is one solution of this equation or x minus 4 is one factor is one factor of this equation so now I will write this cubic equation as x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 12 is equal to 0. Then I will write in the product form x minus 4 and second bracket is about to come. That value we have to find out. I am going to apply synthetic division method to find out that value. Synthetic division method is first you will consider that factor which we calculated just write all the coefficients of the cubic polynomial so coefficient is 1 minus 6 11 and minus 12 so i will write 1 minus 6 11 and minus 12 how we used to solve I will write first term as it is now multiply these two terms take the product of and you can write here so 4 times 1 is 4 I will write here then add both the terms minus 6 plus 4 minus 2 same job 4 times minus 2 minus 8 11 minus 8 3 4 times 3 12 12 minus 12 and plus 12 0 so this is x square minus 2x plus 3 so this bracket we calculated using synthetic division that is x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and first bracket is as it is now only we have to find out this solution of quadratic equation that is x square minus 2x plus 3 so let us find out a is 1, B is minus 2, C is 3 plus 3. Now we know that that formula of quadratic equation for finding root that is x is equal to minus b, right? So x will be equal to minus b plus minus under the root 
बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए नाउ पुट दैट वैल्यू ए ए वॉज वन बी वॉज माइनस टू सी वॉज थ्री सो एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू प्लस माइनस अंडर द रूट माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए इज वन सी इज थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय टू ए मींस टू टाइम्स वन सो दैट वैल्यू विल बी टू प्लस माइनस अंडर द रूट नेगेटिव टू स्क्वायर इज फोर माइनस ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाय टू नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट this value using iota so let me write i will write 2 plus minus under the root 4 minus 12 so that is negative 8 divided by 2 i can write this negative sign in the square root that is negative 1 times negative 8 exponent that radical rule actually we can write if ab is there so we can write root a times root b and now for complex number we know that minus 1 can be written as iota because minus 1 is i square the square root of i square is i so that value will be 2 plus minus i and root 8 is 4 times 2 so i will write 2 root 2 divided by 2 so let me divide that by 2 so it will come out 1 plus minus iota root 2 so for that cubic equation we have three roots or three solution of that cubic equation or polynomial equation or exponential equation two roots are complex as you can see x is equal to 1 plus iota root 2 and second is 1 minus iota root 2 two roots are complex roots or imaginary roots and one root is real that is x is equal to 4 so x is equal to 4 is one real root and remaining two roots are complex in this way If you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do subscribe right now for many more videos like this thank you so much for watching this video